rich and delicious, super nutritious chocolate avocado mousse. And did I say it was easy? Welcome back, my friends. Today's recipe is chocolate mousse with none other than my star of the show, avocado. I, my friends, am using a frozen avocado because I grow them on my property and I do have some from this season that I did flash freeze and they are in my freezer. So, mine are frozen, but you can very well use two large, fresh, ripe avocados. And without further ado, we have the avocados. We're going to add three tablespoons of cacao. This is an anti-inflammatory. This is really, really good. Google will do a much better job of telling you about the properties of the health proponents of this, but this is really good. Anyway, I'm going to do the cacao. Some sea salt. Doesn't want to get out of there. Okay. I'm doing a quarter of a cup of oat milk. You can use whatever milk you want. I mean, if you have cashew milk or regular milk, that's okay, all right? And don't worry, I'm gonna have all the ingredients listed below in the link. You can read it in full text. This is a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And I'm gonna add the, actually, what you don't wanna do is I'm gonna blend, start blending this because this is gonna be rather chunky. This is my new Vitamix, I'm so excited. This is the first time I'm using it, ready? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't all the way plugged in. <laughs> okay, so when you use frozen avocados, this is kind of the process of what you go through. Now, if you use fresh avocados, you don't have to be doing this, okay, but the frozen, so it's going to be kind of a little different. <laughs> Add a little bit of honey. And I'm going to add four ounces of chocolate. This can be, you know, semi-sweet. It can be like a, a German chocolate. Uh, and I have it melted a little bit for smoother transition. <laughs> After those avocados, we're going to need it. <laughs> yeah, anyway. So I'm going to do that and put that in. Oh, wow, this is looking really amazing. So we're going to do this. And we're going to blend up again. As you can see, it's a very simple, easy, easy recipe. Okay. Ah, oof. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Now, I like using the frozen, honestly, because it tastes like ice cream. And I, I know that's not the full intention of it, but I kind of like it myself. So I'm just going to give this a little mixy-uppy. And, whoa. Wow. I'm going to add, I think, let me see. I want to taste, see how that tastes. Mm. Oh, wow. That is really good. I think I'm going to add maybe a little bit more of the honey. This was just three tablespoons of the honey, not a lot. I'm just going to add a little bit more because the cacao has a very rich taste, of course. And so, you know, but it's not sweet. So if you want a little sweetness, you're going to have your chocolate and then you're going to have a little honey, you can use maple syrup if you don't have honey. You can use agave, 
you know, whatever your preference. You can even use, I suppose, monk fruit if you wanted to. You know what I want to do? I think I'm going to actually mix in some more chocolate chip morsels. So you're going to have like a, a taste of that as well. Okay, so I need to get a little spoon again. Excuse me. I'm back. Let me see. Mmm, that's good. That's really rich. Look how thick that is. I'm in heaven. Now I'm going to do one last hurrah. I'm going to drop just a bunch of little morsels in there, give them a little chop, 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 and then drop them into, uh, into my little cups. Bam, that's it. We're gonna fill, the time has come, our little cups. And not only did the chocolate chips go in there and got blended again, it's the perfect sweetness, not too sweet. It almost tastes like a European chocolate mousse. Okay? And there's little chunks of chocolate that you can taste, little bites. They're almost like shavings. So now I'm managing to do this oh so delicately. And you know what we're going to do now? I love this. And take a bar of chocolate, okay? And with that, you're just going to shave a little bit. Look at that. Ha ha. Then they'll be covered, put in the refrigerator, and eaten. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to plate them, and I'll be right back. I like how that chocolate looks. I thought I would show you how I was going to plate it for my guest tonight. I'm sure you have ideas of your own of how you'd like to, to plate it and to see how it's going to look and how you're going to serve it. You, know, you could also add a dollop of whipped cream. And I just went up to the garden and I thought, you know what, I think I love the way this red, it's almost like an aubergine color, but this is actually a lettuce. And I know you probably think it looks strange on a platter like this, but it, I just, you know, it's edible. I just love decorating with edibles and all these flowers are edible. Oh. Put a pump of color in. You know, just random, right? So pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Makes me so happy. Here we go. So there we have our chocolate mousse made with avocado. And I hope you found this tutorial valuable. I actually going to take one of these. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> it's just so simple. But this is one of those tutorials where you can have your cake and eat it too and feel indulgent and know that you deserve it and that you're worth it because this is made with avocado people, healthy fats. If you found this tutorial valuable, informational, please hit the like and subscribe button. I will be doing more uh, fun things from my garden, sharing with you ideas, trips, tips, <laughs> tips, tricks, and hacks out of my garden. And um, I, I hope you join me. Thank you so much and have a blessed day. Uh -uh. Is it on? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> mm. Well, cameraman, would you like a taste? <laughs> I'll give you a different spoon. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs>